Saturday morning and this is my first proper vlog and there seems to be a bit of an appetite for vlogs by women of my sort of age so I thought it would be fun to give it a try. So in case you happen upon this vlog uh, by accident, uh, my name is Des and I'm an over 60 Brit and I live in London and I am going to spend the day doing stuff not so much around the house but outside which is why I thought it would be fun to take you along with me and I'm having my morning coffee and I'm lounging in my study which is at the top of the house so I'm going to drive into town and I'm going to park near Selfridges which is near where my dentist is and I'm hoping to be able to pop into Selfridges and show you around. So why are you going to the dentist I hear you ask? <laughs> well Unfortunately, my bite is not really where it should be. It's still too far back. Honestly, the amount of orthodontistry I had as a kid, it all was for nothing. So it all just went back to square one. I probably didn't wear my appliance properly anyway back in the day, but still. So I've got to pick up an appliance. It's fine. I just wear it at night. It's okay. I mean, luckily, I don't have to wear it in the day. Um, but I did have one. Um, for a year or two and then I had some treatment done and then it didn't fit anymore so I had to have a new one made so I shall go to the dentist I absolutely love my dentist he is an absolute delight he's such a nice guy and we always catch up on Strictly Come Dancing which is Dancing with the Stars in the States and he watches it and I watch it and we always chat about who we think will win who we think will go home who we don't like who we like so apart from my day out, I've also got to do some editing of a video, actually of several videos, because I'm going away next weekend on Friday afternoon. I'm going to a spa for two nights. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so looking forward to it. And so I won't be around at the weekend, which is when I tend to do most of my filming and editing and all of that, because I have a full time job. And I work a nine day fortnight, so I do get every other Friday off, which is amazing. I'm so lucky. But because I work full time, don't really have time to do anything on videos or anything of that sort during the week. I mean, I do sometimes do maybe half an hour or an hour in the morning if I wake up super early. I don't know why I'm saying if I wake up super early. I wake up super early every day at the moment. It's crazy. I wake up at about half five, quarter to six every morning at the moment and I really only get about six, six and a half hours sleep. However, I'm not going to stress about it. I have stressed about it. I try not to. I've, I've tried everything I possibly can to sleep longer, but it's just not happening at the moment. So I do do a little bit sometimes in the morning, but it's hard because obviously I want to focus on my actual paid work at the moment. So I usually use the weekends and my Fridays off to do YouTube and other bits and bobs. I do have a blog as well, which I try to keep up and I do a monthly newsletter. So that all needs to be done. Plus I am planning a book. So I'm planning an ebook actually, which I won't talk to you about too much now because I need to get the thing written. And so when I get back from the spa, I've actually got a week off. And my plan is to write the Bloomin' Thing, which I've been talking about to myself, <laughs> to do for some considerable time. I just need to get on with it now. So that's my plan for that week. So that's not this coming week, but the following week. And I'll also do some more planning for videos and that sort of thing during that week as well. So better get on with the day. Right, just putting on my vitamin C. Oops, just washed my hair. I was thinking I'm a bit behind now, so hopefully it will dry in time. But to be honest, I'll be in the car because I'm letting it dry au naturel at the moment. I'm not um, drying, blow drying it or drying it with a hot brush or waving it or anything like that, just for a change really. So vitamin C is on. The next thing I need is my beauty pie. I'm all beauty pie at the moment in the morning. Um, so I'm using a, a moisturiser and then my SPF on top, which I don't usually do, but because it's colder and I don't know, I just thought it might be nice to add a little moisture. I don't want too much because I don't want to get milia. I have got a few milia 
But um, I think it's good to, well, it may be good, I don't know, to add a moisturiser. It's certainly not doing any harm to my foundation application, which is good. So a little bit of SPF as well. And that's my skin prep for the morning. Right, so we're in my boudoir now, and <laughs> I call it my boudoir. I'm a little bit behind, but I hope my hair's going to dry before I get in the car, but not the end of the world if it doesn't. <clears throat> I'm going to put some makeup on. I don't want to put too much on because, because I want to see whether I can try out some of the Pat McGrath palettes if I have time. But before I do any of that, I must take my pills, and I have to take my Thyrox, and then I take a statin. And then I'm just down to two supplements at the moment. Is it two? Yes, I'm taking zinc, which I was diagnosed as being deficient in last year or two years ago. So I carry on with those. And I also take a, where is it? A vitamin D and that's it. I stopped taking biotin because I don't think it made any difference at all. I've been taking it for a couple of years, hasn't made any difference, still losing hair. It's really here at the front that I notice it particularly, but you know, it's fine. Uh, I'm also taking HRT, so I'm kind of hoping, well, I don't know, maybe hoping against hope. Maybe that's the wrong idea for HRT. Maybe it's going to make you more bald. I don't know. Right, pills taken. <coughs> oh, damn, very gravelly this morning. And now makeup. Right, let me get dressed. Well, just about to set off. It's absolutely revolting out here. It's pelting with rain. Let me see if I can show you. I don't know if you can see. It's absolutely pelting down. However, I am wearing my trusty Uniqlo padded coat, which I decided to wear instead of taking a brolly um, because at least it'll keep me drier than just a brolly. Anyway, we'll set off. I'm going to get some petrol and then we'll head on into town. Absolutely sheeting it down. No, I'm exaggerating. It's not sheeting, but it's incredibly wet. Just thought I'd take you down Marylebone Lane which is this little street here, little windy street. It's got lots of little nice, nice little shops. And oh my Lord, it's so wet. Pubs. Oh, actually, this is a restaurant. I always fancy going to L'Entrecote, it's called. Yeah, I must make a mental note to come here. Um, I have been to a restaurant here, which was okay, but it was... Um, was part of a hotel and hotel restaurants are never really my thing. It would seem a little bit, I don't know, stayed is the right word, or it would seem a little bit um, bland. So don't think we'll be going back to that one. Oh yeah, this is a famous shop I'm going to show you now called VV Rulo, which if you sew or you're crafty in any way, it sells beautiful. I think it sells trimming well it calls itself calls them trimmings let me just show you I'm gonna just swap around here it is look at all this beautiful haberdashery ribbons hats feathers I mean all sorts of adornments and oh god they've got Christmas things of course as well and look at all these ribbons I mean if you're crafty which I'm afraid I'm not at all you would absolutely love this. Oh, look at these roses. Absolutely beautiful. And, ah, there's Robert Clergerie. Um, now that is a shop. Let me just show you if I can. So if any of you watch... Actually, we'll cross the road. If any of you watch and Blaze Minx, who is a British YouTuber about my age, she's a... She's quite well known here. She's, um, she's on the radio. She has a radio show. Anyway, this is one of her favourite shops. She talks about this on her channel. And it's a fantastic shoe shop. I've never actually owned any shoes from here, I don't think. It is super pricey, but you can see really quite um, lovely looking shoes. Lots of high heels, although they're block, but mm, I'm afraid not for me. But they look wonderful on Jo. She's an incredibly stylish woman. Um, she's teeny tiny, I think. I've never met her. I think she's quite short. Um, but slim and gorgeous looking. And where are we going now? I'm going the wrong way. Let's go this way. Having a quick coffee for 
Mm. Nice window full of Prada. Not really my colours to be honest, yellow, although I like black, but I'm not sure I'm really in the market for Prada at the moment. Mm. Interesting concept. Grandma's gold standard gravy. Well, not this grandma, I'm afraid. £18 lighter in terms of my wallet than I was when I went in because I decided to buy a Huda Beauty matte lipstick which I am wearing now and I said to the sales assistant I want something that's your lips but better and I think this is it. Well failed to find anywhere to have a coffee so I had to resort to Pret. The coffee's not too bad but it's not my favourite. And also failed to find a croissant anywhere but Pret because actually I was going to go to this French place called Paul. But sadly they don't have any croissants, but they have got croissant in. Oh, in Pret. So let's see if I can eat it without making too much mess. They're good because they're nice and crispy, these. I don't like an anemic croissant. So it's been a day of well it's been a, a relatively successful morning in that um i went to uniqlo and decided that i didn't want the jumpers i don't think they're nice but in fact i preferred the cardigan that was in lamb's world but um i did see a really nice pair of j brand kind of trousers a bit chinoy and they were lovely i don't know what j brand's doing in uniqlo i didn't know they were in there but they are super expensive they're about 85 pounds however i might consider I'll see whether they've got them in black. They had them in dark blue, a kind of dark navy. So I don't know whether that's a colour that will be useful to me. It might be, might be. I'll have a think about it anyway. But the 29 inch waist fitted me like a glove. So that was good. Tried all the palettes, um, not tried all the palettes, looked at some palettes in Selfridges, which I enjoyed doing and swatched them and I think I came to the conclusion that actually the Huda Beauty probably the cheapest of all the palettes I looked at because I looked at ABH and I looked at Pat McGrath. I think the in terms of the colour story for me the Huda Beauty was the best so that was good and I'm just going to eat my croissant now and then I shall make my way home and then later I have to go to the recycling centre and buy some food. Good morning, it is Sunday and I came to a bit of an abrupt halt yesterday afternoon because I got back and picked up the stuff to take to the dump or the recycling centre and then <laughs> it was all a bit of a mish because I had to go and get some food, which was fine, that went okay. Then I went to the recycling, that was all good. But I also needed to get some petrol and some um, air into the tyres. And that was, oh my Lord, that just, it was a bit of a nightmare. So it's a horrible day again today. It's raining, it's relatively mild, but it's quite wet. So I'm going to finish, I've just finished editing a video, which I'm a little bit nervous about. It's going up today. So what am I doing today? I will be going out later to the local shops. I need to look at my schedule. I've got lots of editing to do. In fact, let me just show you. I'm going to move the camera around. So here is my laptop. Oh, sorry. Let me move this light out of the way. There is my laptop. That is actually my planner, would you believe? So all those green 
elements are videos that I've already recorded. Actually, there's more. I've recorded more, but I need to edit them. I haven't got my systems and processes quite in place yet because I tend to be a bit reactive. I mean, I do plan, but then I might decide to do something completely different, like this vlog, which I haven't actually planned to do at all. Um, so I need to factor that in. But the main thing is I've got lots of recorded material, so at least I have got then some stuff to actually edit. But I need to find the time to do that as well because I start work again on Monday. I've got four days, four, four full days. And then on Friday, I'm off to the spa. I'm going to go in the afternoon. So in the morning, I could do a little bit because to be honest, I woke up at 5.30 again this morning. I don't know. I did go to bed really early, like 11. But 5.30 is a bit ridiculous, isn't it? But anyway, what can you do? So, yeah, so I'm going to do some more planning today. I might do some editing. Now, the other thing is next, is it next week? No, not next week. So Monday the 14th, I have planned to write an ebook, which I am quite nervous about doing, even though I know what I want to write about. I'm not going to talk about it now. I'm just going to talk about the fact that I'm going to write the thing. So I've given myself that week to write it. And I am really nervous about it. I get very nervous when I think about projects that I have to do. Even videos, I get the sort of, I get a sort of feeling in the pit of my stomach, this nervous sort of butterfly feeling, even thinking about it, which is very odd, really. I suppose it's just a lack of confidence in myself, which, you know, I'm sure a lot of us do have, don't we? Um, but I just... I mean, I know I can do it. I've written a novel, not that it ever got published. I suppose I could self-publish it and have thought about it. But I've written a novel and, and that was 70,000 odd words. And I've written, I wrote a, it was not an e-book, I wrote a, a guide to events, which I wrote about oh, four or five years ago now, um, which I did publish on Amazon. I think about three people and a dog read it, but still... <laughs> And I, so I know I can do it. I know I can write words and I know I can write a significant amount of words, but it's just getting down to it. And I have got the research. So I've done the research. I know what I'm going to write about. I think it's going to be of use to O60 women. But I'm just feeling quite nervous about it. But at the same time, I'm looking forward to it because I think it could be really helpful to women over 60. That women of any age really but particularly postmenopausal women I think anyway enough about that I'm trying to be accountable I think that's why I'm talking about it so I'm, I'm making myself accountable to you and if I don't write it you can get on my case and tell me where is this book you said you were going to write so because the idea is to launch it in early January January the 1st actually so I better get my skates on haven't I well that's the end of my weekend. I have done exactly what I thought I would do this afternoon. That is when I got back from my shopping expedition, rather wet. I had some lunch. I had my delicious soup that I'd made earlier. And then I lolled on the sofa and watched some YouTube videos and fell asleep. Uh, since then, I've been fiddling around. I've put a joint of lamb in the oven, which we're going to have for dinner. And so I'm going to sign off now. I must say I've enjoyed doing a vlog. I wasn't sure whether I would, but actually I, I really have enjoyed it. And I hope you have as well. I really hope so. And do let me know in the comments below whether this is the type of video you would like to see more of. And please do consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And hit the notification bell so you get an alert each time I upload a new video. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my newsletter, the link is down below in the description box. And that's where I share other bits and bobs that I don't mention in videos that I have found interesting or informative or useful. So do consider subscribing to that as well. And thanks again so much for watching. It really means the absolute world to me. And do look after yourselves and I'll hope to see you on my next video. Bye.